All right, so, hey there YouTube. This is an update for the boat augers that I made. I wanted to share a few design changes. Yeah. Uh, first and foremost, when I said to drill drain holes in the bottom, that was probably a bad decision because it just fills up with water and gets all nasty and muddy. Well, more importantly, it gets filled up with dirt. So uh, you don't want to put those holes if you can help it. Uh, I taped over them with a really good tape. Um, water does intrude through here no matter what you do, I think, is going to happen. Okay. Oh, yeah. The, uh... So, yeah, when you're doing this, I guess you could heat this up and get that airtight, but you'd have to include some type of... Uh, sealant um so one thing i did afterwards i found out that this can you see the uh, is, uh it's really hard to get out at certain lengths it used to be this long and so i couldn't actually get it out of here without cocking it all the way so i shortened it and i haven't really had a problem i'd say now it's probably about five feet tall with the auger um i put a cap on it I redrilled the hole, cut it off, and put a new cap on it because I was finding out that it was the boat was riding up and the uh, hitting the um, bumper or the rub rail, and so using this when the boat rides up on it and hits it, it kind of just pushes this and it slides off of it nice. So definitely want to get a cap. Uh, as far as the actual hook, I've been trying to think, or as far as the actual uh, driver here, or arm, I've been trying to think of a way to attach this, but I really just don't, I don't want to do that because it'll hit it if it slides up and down. So I've just been putting it through here and then tying rope through it, rope through it and then around it, kind of like a cleat to secure it. And it keeps this under tension so it stays in there. Um, I had thought about putting it in the pipe Drilling a drill, a couple screws, putting a couple screws in here, so it would hold it for you. But and then the, you'd have to take the cap off every time. So, um, so yeah, it's going on. Okay, it's going on two years of using this, and the boat auger hasn't let me down. It's only broke loose a couple times when I was being lazy and didn't put it in deep enough. But it sure beats the hell out of beating it with a hammer. So. Uh, some people had posted that they couldn't find the actual auger, but it's just a dock auger, so ask around lake places for dock augers, and uh, it's obviously a little bit bigger than an inch and a half, but, uh, or inner diameter, so you want to take that into consideration and everything. But, good luck, it works good, it was like 60 bucks for everything, it was a high estimate, I think it was like 20 bucks an auger, and then... Yeah, but I'd definitely buy it again.